Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Breaking news, quick hitter edition out of Western New York. Verdict is in in the mob-related, the first phase of the mob-related racketeering trial in Buffalo. Um, retired DEA agent and reputed Buffalo mob DEA mole Joe Bongiovanni has been convicted seven of 11 counts. Jury was out for almost a week. Um, this was his second trial. He was uh, hung jury back in the spring for a majority of the more severe bribery counts. Um, but they got him on bribery now, at least one or two counts of bribery in the seven counts. And uh, I think each count is five years. So Mr. Bon Giovanni, um, although he won't be sentenced until the summer, is staring down a prison sentence. And I don't think it's going to be a club fed one or two years i think he's gonna have to go do a decade um maybe eight seven eight years if he's lucky um but they're gonna jam him here it's been a long road this this for this case dropped uh in november of 2019 that's five years of this and um it's surprising in the context of the last couple of days um, because all the reports coming out of federal court was that the jury was, you know, had hit a wall and that they were having trouble finding consensus. Mm -hmm. They sent, um, they sent letters to the judge alerting him of this um on two occasions i believe the uh, monday and tuesday or maybe friday and tuesday um it appeared as of yesterday i know there was some reporting in the mainstream media that this was headed towards another hung jury uh but that flipped on a dime and uh, we're sitting here with convictions for joe bon giovanni um you know, people that have been following this know that he's connected to Peter Gerace Jr., the uh, strip club owner and uh, nephew of the reputed Mafia Don of Buffalo, uh, Joe Pizza Tadaro Jr. And Bon Giovanni has been convicted now of accepting payment um, the government said it was over two hundred fifty thousand dollars, a four four or five thousand dollar monthly retainer, specifically to protect Magadino crime family drug operations. And uh, it looks like this might have been going on for well over a decade. I know we just found some uh, or uh, some documents just surfaced uh, in the last couple months about uh, Las Vegas DEA looking into certain people uh, tied into Bon Giovanni, that Bon Giovanni was protecting all the way back in the early 2000s. Um, so Bon Giovanni, I mean, the, the, the most direct tie that he has in addition to Gerace is Mike Masekia, the guerrilla enforcer, soldier, alleged soldier for the Buffalo Mafia, uh, Masaki is doing eight years right now for drug dealing. His father-in-law was Black Bart Mazzara, you know, major player in Buffalo LCN for a lot of years. And uh, Masaki is also was was also tied into Butchie Bifocals, the uh, consigliere of of the of the Magadinos. And you know, this is the a big win for for team for Team America. And uh, I think. The one silver lining, if you are Gerace Jr., his co-defendant, who is headed to trial at the end of this month, his jury will be selected, I think, 
started to be selected next week or the, the week after, we should have opening arguments by uh, Halloween or first week of November. You know, Jerace Jr. has got the, the bulk of the you know, more severe than the, the severe bribery counts. I mean, he's got uh, drug dealing, sex trafficking. Um, and if you're him and you're looking at this verdict, the counts that he was acquitted of, uh, the counts they couldn't come to, to a guilty verdict on, were mostly related to him, Jerace Jr. Meaning. So I guess if you're Jerace Jr. in his defense, that would be a, you know, a good sign for, for seeing the jury soon that a previous jury had trouble uh, convicting someone that he was allegedly paying off. Uh, but right now, Joe Bian Giovanni, former DEA agent, now a convicted DEA mafia mole, um, will be sentenced in June, looking at a, a relatively stiff prison sentence for a civilian um, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. You get close to the fire, you're going to get burned. And in this case, you know, it's just, you, you're always fighting an uphill battle. It, the government's going to win 99.9% .9 of the time. And if they, if they have a personal vendetta against you, like it seems like they did for Bon Giovanni, um, it's going to be hard to, to, uh, do a Houdini and slip out of, slip out of those charges. Like it looked like he had kind of done back in the spring where he was convicted of lesser charges that didn't necessarily uh, bring s severe prison time. Now he's looking at a, a probably about 10 years. Uh, Scott Bernstein, OG pod, please uh, like subscribe, share, check the Patreon uh, members only where we do something a little bit different there. Um, we'll keep bringing you the breaking news, the, the hottest, latest breaking news uh, across North America, uh, underworld, Uncovering the underworld, one city, one region at a time. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, I'm out.